In addition to these papillary thyroid cancers being a hot topic in the thyroid, save your thyroid community, we're also seeing a lot of patients who have these indeterminate nodules and they, they really need to pursue this molecular testing. So talk about that for just a moment. Um, there's a something of a quirk with diagnosing thyroid cancer. About 80% of the time after we do a biopsy or bionetal aspirin, we're gonna get an answer either positive or negative. Yes, cancer, no, no cancer denied. But in about 20% of cases, um, when the pathologist looks at those cells under the slide, they're just not gonna be able to determine if this is a cancer or not. There's some technical reasons why that's the case. And so one of the tools that we have available to um, kind of circumvent that is to do molecular testing on FNA biopsies. The, the point of the molecular testing is to determine if there are risky mutations within those cells that we know give you a higher risk of having papillary thyroid cancer or follicular thyroid cancer. And so the molecular testing is an adjunct for indeterminate thyroid nodules to try to determine if they are benign or malignant. Molecular testing has matured significantly over the last decade. It's another technology that when it came around, people were very skeptical about it. Um, in this case, it's not really about safety, but it's more about efficacy and whether or not it actually works. Um, I think the data are clear that there are certainly cases where the molecular testing will show that something is benign. Um, when it was called indeterminate by the pathologist, in which case that does not necessarily need a surgery for. So that's kind of the, you know, the synopsis of what we're doing with molecular testing on the biopsy side of things.